Hey Hot Tots, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you five tips that helped me lose weight. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Sophie. I am 31 years old. I've been on my fitness journey my whole life, but like actually consistently for the last year and I've lost about 42 pounds on Weight Watchers. I started off on the blue plan, now I'm on the green plan. And I wanted to share with you guys what the five top tips that I feel worked best for me once I did these things and once I thought these things, all of a sudden it was like, oh, and the weight just kept coming off. You know what I mean? So I wanted to share with you those tips. Before we get into that though, I have partnered with Yvette Sportswear and one of the things that makes me feel good as I'm losing weight is having good workout clothes, good clothing in general and feeling good in my body in those clothes. And Yvette Sportswear, their clothes fit me so well and make me feel so good. So I wanted to share with you these clothes that they sent me, their sportswear. So the sizing, they do extra small to 5XL. So they're very size inclusive, which I love about them. They know that everyone on a fitness journey isn't already a size two. Mind blowing, I know. They have an Instagram that helps you. Um, you can DM them. It's I'll put it up right here. They can help you with sizing. They also have a window on their uh, website that you can type and chat with them and they can help you with sizing there. They are very size inclusive, like I said, which I love. They just want you to feel good while you're trying to get to your goals, you know? So we're gonna get into that. I do have a code, Sophia15, for 15% off. This weekend, they're doing free shipping. And then if you do spend over $109, you can use code Sophia20 for 20% off. But let's get into the video. I'll show you the clothes first and then we'll get back to the five tips. 20, 21. Yes, we did it. We made it through 2020. Uh, uh, uh. I teamed up with Yvette Sportswear and sportswear has a lot to do with getting back in shape or getting in shape or staying in shape or just wanting to look like sporty in general. like. Like me, where I wear leggings every day now. What are jeans? I don't know. And I have some really nice pieces. You guys, this is my favorite collection they've ever had. I feel like they've really stepped up their materials and the fit and just the options and the prices, you can't beat them. So first I wanted to show you what I have on now. This is the shirt that they sent me. It comes in two colors. It comes in maroon and then this color, it's kind of like a grayish, little bit of purplish mauve kind of color. I love it. It goes from sizes small to 2XL and it comes in a maroon color. Did I already just say that? I don't remember. What I love about this shirt is it is very sweat wicking. I know that because I did work out in it and I did have um, sweat, <laughs> but then it literally dried up really quick. So by the time that I got home and I was like, I'm not taking my coat off because, and it was already dried up. Yeah, and we love a good sweat wick, do we not? What I like about it too, is you could tie it up. So if you don't like it just down, which I like it down because I have a fupa, okay. But you could tie it up. So you can do this in like a little cute tie. And then it's like a little crop tee, which is so cute, but I personally like it down. Everything I'm wearing, all of the sports bras are in extra large and all of the clothing is in large. So my leggings and my tops are large and all of my sports bras are extra large. Just to give you a comparison, I'm a size 10 um, and I'm 5'7". Also, this shirt is only $20.99 and then if you use my code, you get a 15% off discount. So use my code SOFIA15 for 15% off or you can use a code SOFIA20 if you spend over $109, you can get 20% off everything. Next is this white sports bra. You can get it in sizes extra small to extra large. It comes in three colors, white, black, and that baby pink color that I love. It is so soft. So this is an extra large. It's super cute in the back. It's very comfortable. It's very stretchy, so I don't feel like and you can't take the cups out technically, but I might just because you guys know I don't have any boobs. Super soft, super stretchy. I've worked out in it. It fits great. It feels great. And it is high impact um, because my boobs didn't go anywhere when I was jumping up and down on the bicycle. 
Then they have these leggings. These are so soft, you guys. These are like, they feel to me like a line leggings, that soft, soft material. They aren't completely squat proof, but I usually wear um, those like Victoria's Secret seamless thongs. Had dark underwear on, you could see them. You definitely don't wear dark underwear with these, but they do come in multiple colors. They come in navy, black, and then this mint green, and they're only $25.99. Like I said, I wouldn't say um, that they are squat proof, but they are really nice. They're like everyday leggings, and I go on my bicycle. They are sweat wicking, but you do still see some sweat with this light color, obviously. So after I got off the bike, I did see sweat under my butt. <laughs> you know how that is. But I personally don't care about that. But if you do, they do have those other colors. They have black and navy. So you could get darker colors, but they are so soft. I definitely want to get these in black and navy because I'll live my life in these because I live my life in my lines. Next is this high impact sports bra. It is so comfortable. I don't feel like it's tight. You know what I mean? Um, this one, you actually have this that you can change the sizing on the back and it's really, really cute on the back as well. I like it a lot. Um, it does have little cups in it and I worked out in this too. They don't go anywhere. This is the highest impact bra I would say that they sent me. So if you are have big girls and you need that support, this is the bra for you. It comes in seven colors, $29.99 before the discount. But anyways, I really, really love this bra. Like I said, it's not like tight on the under part, which I hate when it's super tight. And it is a really pretty color and it comes in a lot of other colors. So this is definitely a good one if you have those bigger boobs and you need a high impact bra. I saved my favorites for last. This is my favorite look of the sports bra that they have ever had. It is so cute. I love the color. I'm obsessed with this. And then the back just is simple and I love that. And then I love these leggings. They have that mesh, love them. So these leggings are only come in black, but they do go from size small to 2XL and they're only $26.99. And then you get a discount. It just blows my mind, honestly. This sports bra is $28.99. It only comes in this baby ballet pink, but I'm obsessed with this bra. And this goes from extra small to 2XL. It is stunning. I, I mean, I love it. I love it. Like I said, I'm gonna have all of this linked down below, everything that I have. I'll have my codes all below and everything, and they do help you with sizing. I just want to show you guys all this stuff. I mean, I'm obsessed. This is the best line I've liked of theirs thus far. I feel like they're really stepping up the look and the feel of all this material, which I love. And I love that they're size inclusive. So check them out if you want. They do have free shipping this weekend only. So you would get the shipping free too. <laughs> it's just nuts. But anyways, now let's get into the five tips. Okay, now for the tips part of this video. Don't mind my headset from my work. <laughs> I just realized that's in here. Anyways, so the first thing that I feel like helped me actually get to my goal is to stick with a plan. So before I would do this yo-yo dieting act where I do some extreme diet. I would do, you know, I would do no carbs, low carbs, um, eating clean, deducting calories extravagantly. I would just go do all of these things instead of realizing that if I just stayed consistent with one thing, I could lose weight. So I would say no matter what that plan is, it can be WW, it can be Jenny Craig, it can be counting calories, it can be keto, it can be anything that you feel is sustainable and that is a lifestyle you can live but you got to stick to it. You can't try it for a week and you didn't lose weight like that and you didn't lose 12 pounds and now you're upset. Oh, I tried it for two weeks. I only lost one pound so far. One pound of fat is this is huge, you know? So you need to stick with it. I would say for at least a month or, or a month or two before giving up on that plan. I stuck with WW and now I'm 42 pounds down. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh my gosh, why I just stuck with it and look what happens. So that would be my first tip and trick is stick with a plan. Don't 
always look for fast results. If it's consistent, it will be fast. If you think about it, if you lose a pound a week in one month, you've lost four pounds. That's four of these of fat off your body. And it's just like, holy crap. And it wasn't hard because it's something I can sustain. What? Tip number two is be realistic with yourself. If you know that keto is not going to work for you long term, don't do keto. You know, if you know that you love pasta, you love carbs, you love this and that, you can't cut that out because you will not be able to sustain that lifestyle and you have to be realistic with yourself. Really learn who you are and say, oh, I would love to be gluten free, dairy free, this, that, no carbs. But will I do it? I know I won't. Once I became realistic with myself and I said, honey, this is who you are. You're not going to keep this up. That's when I realized, okay, well, what, what can I keep up? What do I like to eat every day? You know, I like pasta. I love carbs. I like meat. I like salads, but I like potatoes. But I, so WW was the plan for me because I could still eat all of those things. You know, I needed to stop doing these crash diets or doing these things that I knew was not realistic to my life style. You know, some people can do keto and they feel good on keto and they love keto and they can do it and stick with it. Some people can do whole 30 and they love whole 30 and they can do it and they can stick with it. I can't stick with any of that. And then I end up binging and then I end up crying and then I end up chubbier because I overeat. So just be realistic with yourself because that's what's going to get you further. Third tip is focus on food first. I feel like a lot of people go into weight loss and they're like, okay, I'm now going to eat healthy 100% of the time and I'm going to work out six days a week and I'm going to this and I'm going to that. And they overwhelm themselves and they make them feel like they have to do all these things to lose weight. My first five months of losing weight, I did not work out. And I lost a ton of weight during that time. I think like 25 pounds in my first five months. So I just focused on the food first because I can't, my brain cannot handle overwhelming myself with, okay, I got to work out and then I got to, you know, work my ass off to work out. And then I got to, you know, keep moving every day. And then I got to eat healthy. And then I got to, it's like when I focused on the food first, I learned what I could eat. I learned what I liked. I got into a good rhythm. I found my core set foods that I loved and I would always have as my staples. And then I started going out for walks a couple times a week. And yeah, sometimes I'd still go on a walk or two, but I didn't set any workout goal. And then of course, if I felt like working out, I would work out, but I never made myself feel overwhelmed with all of these goals. All of a sudden, I just focused on the food. I said to myself, figure out what food you can eat figure out your staples, and then move from there. It took me about five months to figure that out and not overwhelm myself and to not feel a certain weird anxiety. And then I started going, okay, well, let's try to walk two or three times a week. I'm not setting a goal of how long. I'm not setting a goal of having to do five miles. Let's just say you got to move your body three times a week. I started slowly going into that. You know what I mean? And now I work out or walk. I move my body or not, but I have everything figured out. So I didn't overwhelm myself. Also, when you're first starting your fitness journey and you start working out, working out, working out, your body's not used to that. So it's so much more hungry. And that always messed me up before because I'd start working out and then I want to eat, eat, eat. Well, I don't have my foods figured out yet. So now I'm like, I'm starving, I'm starving, and I can't find my food. So then I get frustrated and I eat what's next to me. And that's usually Wendy's. So just focus on food first. Foodie, foodie, food is 80%, like they say, of losing weight. So focus on that first. And then when you feel ready, slowly incorporate other things. And if you feel ready during that time of figuring out your food to do some movement, do it, but just don't overwhelm yourself. Four for me is set smaller goals. When I look at, I want to lose 70 pounds, that is freaking daunting. It makes me feel like it's impossible. It makes me feel like I can't do it. And when I say I want to lose five pounds, that seems more possible. That seems more anxiety free, you know, and when I set those smaller goals, like, you know, this next two weeks, I want to lose two pounds. 
I would end up surpassing my goal or hitting my goal. So then I was happy with myself. But if I would have told myself I want to lose five pounds in the next two weeks and I hit three, I'd be like, oh, you didn't do it. You did it again. You can't stick with anything. You can't lose five pounds. I would beat myself up. And I feel like a lot of men and women do that too. Set smaller, realistic goals. And then you feel happy. It makes you happier. It makes you feel accomplished. And it keeps you motivated, you know? And that will keep you going. And then all of a sudden, you're 20 pounds down. And you're like, holy crap. I'm 20 pounds down. I lost 20 pounds. But if I would have set my goal, I want to lose 20 pounds by this time. I would have had anxiety about it. It would have worked me up. Just set yourself smaller, realistic goals so that you find those accomplishments exciting and then you feel good about yourself and that keeps you motivated. And number five, my final tip is love your body now. Live your best life now within the body that you have now. Don't tell yourself, I can't buy any new clothes until I lose 20 pounds. Because what that does is make you look in the mirror and not like your, not only your clothing, but your body. When I started dressing myself, I don't give a crap about sizing. Yvette sports where I wear extra larges and I now wear mediums and regular size clothes besides Australian brands. I'm sure I don't wear medium and Australian brands. When I start off my fitness journey and I have no new clothes, no nothing, and I feel just like frumpy and gross, I don't feel motivated. I don't feel good about myself. You know, I don't think it's a good idea for you to say, I'm not, I won't buy that a new shirt until I lose 20 pounds. Now, if you want to set small goals of like, when I lose 10 pounds, I'll buy myself those Lululemon leggings for a hundred dollars that I've always wanted. I get that. I do that. But to me, if I'm in a store and I love a sweater, I'll buy it for now because Right now I wanna look good. Right now I wanna feel good in my body. And right now I wanna be happy and wear that sweater tonight to my girls night. When you start telling yourself that once I hit this goal, then I'll be happy. Once I hit this goal, then I'll buy new clothes. It makes you feel bad, you know? And I used to do that and now I don't. I buy clothes for my body now. I still wear the clothes from when I was heavier. I like the like oversized look and I still wear all those sweaters, still wear all those shirts. So to me, don't hold yourself back because then you don't love yourself now. If you want to look good working out when you first start, get yourself some cute ass workout clothes and look good so you feel good. So while you're working out, you're looking at yourself and you're like, oh heck yeah, I'm feeling motivated. I'm looking cute. And yeah, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not hating it. You know, I like working out looking cute or going out looking cute. It makes me feel better. And when you look better, you feel more confident. It's everything collides together, right? Like when your attitude is positive, happy, and fun, and you feel freaking good about yourself, even if it's like, oh, this cute sweater makes me look thinner, you know, you exude that. And that pushes to everyone around you, but it also pushes to yourself. When you look in the mirror, you're like, oh, I look cute. I'm happy. So I'm happy to work out. I'm happy to do this, but I'm also happy right now. And I think that that's so important. And that's what I truly learned is, you know, I would always say like, once I get there, that's when I'll buy this shirt. Or once I get there, that's when I'll do that. And to a certain extent, I get it. If it's like super expensive, you're like, oh, my goal, my goal t-shirt that I want from this or my goal purse or whatever. But if it's something like that, where you're like, I want new workout clothes because I'm starting this journey or I'm in the middle of my journey and I'm feeling kind of frumpy and kind of down. Nothing no motivates me more than going and getting a new outfit that makes me feel great. And I don't care about the sizing. I don't care what the size tells me. I don't care that this bra is an extra large. I don't care because I don't care. I like my body and I like the way it looks in this extra large bra. You know what I mean? Like who gives a crap about the size? I don't. So I just think live in the body you have now and be happy, as happy as you can in the body you have now. And as you lose weight, cool, get yourself more, get a little bit more later, but make sure you're loving what you look like now with your clothes, your outfits, and just in general, you know, like if you want a, something, a new makeup thing to make you feel good, then buy the new makeup thing. If you can afford it, why not? I just feel like a lot of women 
punish themselves in that way. Like, well, you didn't lose 10 pounds, so you're not getting this, you know? And it's just, it makes you feel down and then it makes that whole spiral go back down. You know what I mean? Don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't do it. That's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed these five tips. I feel like I get that they're not all super food and whatever related, but these are what truly I feel I came to the realization this past year helped me. And when I put my mentality this way, it's, it's like, oh, losing weight is hard. You know, like when you look at something in the bigger picture, it doesn't seem so cr intense anymore. I didn't lose weight this week. Okay. I'm going to be alive for hopefully 50 more years. So I didn't lose weight this week. Cool. Let's keep trying for next week. You know what I mean? Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't, because it really helps support my channel. I post every Monday and Thursday and sometimes on a random other day. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.